Hi there! While the entire guild of collectors expressing themselves via YouTube has lost it, literally, in competing to present the new Euro Duals from Sudexpress, we choose this time to respect the call of quality of the Electrain channel by presenting today some excellent reproductions in H0 scale for combinations of wood and steel. Don't worry, a Sudexpress Euro Dual will be on our channel soon as well, but allow us some time to study it for a better presentation dedicated to all of you. Let's start with the cargo concept of these few products, as we all know that these wagon types are sold with or without load. At least you will find out about the latest or not trends on the H0 hobby regarding wood material simulated loads. Trix used as an option the import from the Czech Republic, while NMJ is taking care of itself. Both brands used real wood without any plastic materials, while at Pico we found something that can pass either as ingenious or as cheap. Honestly, we don't know if Pico's chosen solution for the Expert Series range is ingenious or cost-effective compared to the Trix or NMJ presentations, considering the fact that the final visual effect is about the same, but we can't help but point out the differences. Moreover, we think that the solution proposed by Pico quite authentically renders some logs crowded together for transport. Otherwise, all this cargo looks as very authentic on the diorama, no matter which load is on the spot. Sudexpress is a brand that is attracting more and more attention to itself. Real quality, special models that tend towards the European panoply, extremely well applied paint schemes and details. Just enough arguments in regarding. Let's hope they will not end purchased by Rocco. Just kidding. Our option was for the no-load version, as we are not sponsored by anyone for these videos and the economy can be a factor that cannot be ignored at times. Excellent stability, as can be seen in this filmed moment, where on a section of track not suitable for this type of radius, it copes without jumping off the track, even when it is unladen and wagons push into each other through the body. The fact that the load is seen here in the first wagon is just a simple omission before taking the video, the detail of good stability being noted during filming on several occasions.
the detailing of the cable type elements applied between the wagons in functional manner cannot help but surprise and challenge you at the same time. It's an excellent market challenge when a manufacturer push such there. As we said, let's hope they will not be purchased by Rocco and the customers of this type of quality products will turn to purchases that strengthened their position on this market. Let's now evaluate the second product of the today's video, NMJ. No, this repeating sequence is not an editing error. We've intentionally left the scene with, with the free motion post uncoupling operation to give you an idea of the running finesse of this model. It is not necessarily a beautiful one, but it brings with a certain implicit excellence of the manufacturers manufacturing. Unexpectedly high level and quality of detailing and paint scheme and very good running stability regardless of which part of the train it is placed on. By successful realization this wagon emits to the collector and viewer that very authentic industrial air. If and where weathering will be applied the effect will be notable in this case of this model. So, an exclusive model produced only in 500 copies, as claimed by the manufacturer, is this platform wagon that transports wood. A very good level of detail, slightly affected by the fact that the material used by Pico does not manage entirely to escape a certain toy aspect in the competition of rendering realism. 
a ride and stability also at a good quality level. We will see if the only 500 copies will convey added value in the future as the model has been on sale for months now and it is still in stock. We purchased it because we ultimately wanted a train with as many copies of this profile as possible for this video so that your opinion can be formed in the situation of the desire to purchase. Trix sets are almost impossible to refuse, either to look at or to purchase it. We waited for months for the price to drop, but in the end we couldn't resist even without such a valuable event for our savings. And we admit that these sets are always cleverly designed, both to satisfy the collector's appetites and to complement the diorama rolling park very consistently. Trix knows this and hence the prices that are always significant. Trix constantly proves that their policy remains a strongly conservative one, but not in the sense of not adapting to the new, but in the sense of ensuring a guarantee of the quality of its products. And no, we are not sponsored in any way. We just give to a Caesar what is Caesar's. The three different wagons of this set delight from absolutely any perspective you want to evaluate them. The authenticity of real-life industrial activity is a great asset of this set. Good running, stability and a high level of detail. We have insisted on filming all three wagons as we said there are different which makes this set more valuable in time as well as in delivering the authenticity message. Again, we will say that some weathering applied on it will be of a super effect. To all of you, be safe until the next video.